Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Book and a Beer Review where I drink beer and review books from indie authors. So if you like beer and you like books, hit that subscribe button and I have a new beer and a new book for you every Sunday. Before we get started, let's crack a cold one or grab your beverage of choice. Today we have Full Circle Brewing Company again. We have their Chinatown Undergrounds Marshmallow Fluff Coffee Chocolate Stout. 9%. So this is going to be a good one. It's about to be a good day. <laughs> All right. Ooh, you can smell the coffee and the chocolate. And it's got a sweet smell to it, which is probably the marshmallow fluff. Let's see. All right. It's very dark, but it's a stout. Let's give it a try. Oh, wow. It's a very heavy and sweet stout, but it's good. It has a really good flavor, but it's not too sweet. Like, it's still drinkable, which is awesome. I like this one a lot. I would highly recommend it, guys. It's great. Oh, it's going to be a good episode. <laughs> this week's book is an absolute must read for the horror fans. This week's book, The Summoning, was a collaboration between five incredibly talented authors, and it came together seamlessly as a horror fan's dream. I need to give this cover a moment because it is just stunning. Look at this. Ignore my notifications but this cover came together so cool looking i wish i could have a poster of this made and decorate my office with it i love this cover that much this cover is absolutely stunning i'm not sure who the cover designer was but they did fabulous i'm in love with it the story follows four horror authors who are of varying backgrounds. They're summoned to the very creepy and secluded and haunted looking mansion of a renowned publisher and author. They're lured by the promise of very generous compensation and it becomes very apparent very early on that these authors have gotten themselves into something truly terrifying. Every trauma that each of these authors has endured in their life comes to life in a horrifying way for each of them in a mansion that is heavily haunted by a force more evil than any of their worst, darkest nightmares. Dr. Stuart Knott, an author from the Midlands, UK, and one of the authors of The Summoning, wrote the character of Frederick Brandis, a struggling and depressed author, and heavily contributed to the most hated character, Mikhail Orlov. I think I pronounced that right. A Russian brute with a heavy dependence on vodka to drown out a horrific trauma that he endured and an equally horrific crime that he committed and got away with. Harriet Everin, an American author from Cedar Rapids, Iowa, wrote the character of Aster Callahan, an American author who is heavily plagued by anxiety due to a lot of traumas and emotional abuse in her past. She also has an abusive fiance who she may or may not be leaving. We'll see in the book. And she also contributed heavily to Mikhail Orlov's character and language. Jessica Huntley, an English author from Edinburgh, wrote the slightly alcoholic and feisty character of Rhiannon Hughes, who is a wealthy and successful author, but has a very traumatic and troubled family past. Alice Stone, an author from the Lake District in the UK, wrote the prologue chapter of The Summoning, and it will grip you right from the very start. Chantal Brunton, a Canadian author from Alberta, contributed a short story to the book called It's All in Your Head, and that one was really insightful, so that was well done. It was great. Get the book, read it. It's amazing. Now, this is a horror novel, so naturally there's going to be a lot of trigger warnings because it deals with some horrific topics. So some of those are lots of trauma, various types of mental health issues, uh, a death of a child, non-consensual sexual acts. I'm trying to avoid using the R word so I don't violate YouTube's community guidelines, but 
You know what I mean. And alcoholism, domestic abuse, violence, and disturbing paranormal events. So those are all things to be aware of, but it is a horror novel, so comes with the territory. This book was a fantastic read all the way through. It was literally the highlight of my mornings and evenings. Now, I realize I sound psychotic starting my day off by, you know, just reading a horror novel casually and drinking my morning coffee, but I'm not sorry. Dr. Stuart Knott, author of The Summoning and writer of the characters Frederick Brandis and Mikhail Orlov, is a PhD graduate from De Montfort University, Leicester. He has always been a writer and has always enjoyed writing short stories and drawing pictures to go along with them as a kid. He would often revisit these when he got older for university and school assignments. He was primarily inspired by movies, TV shows, comics, video games, but later he was inspired by some of the books that he had read. He was inspired to start writing The Summoning as a means to give some life to some of his underdeveloped concepts, but he was mainly inspired by anthology shows like The Outer Limits and Tales from the Dark Side, as well as films like The Haunting and Creep Show. And he's currently working on a story that concerns a couple being tormented by a poltergeist. Dr. Stuart Knott, author of The Summoning, wants readers of The Summoning to know that it's not a traditional anthology. It's more of a frame narrative with short stories peppered throughout to touch upon different elements of horror. And one of the main motivations behind the summoning as a collaboration was to involve different indie authors and give them a platform to have their voices heard. Outside of writing, Dr. Knott also enjoys video games, comic books, and movies. He also types up reviews for his website, Dr. K's Waiting Room, on his downtime. His favorite food is a good old-fashioned bacon cheeseburger or a well-done steak. <gasps> well done, how dare you? He also has a number of tattoos related to movies and comics and video games. He's also a huge fan of characters like Batman, Spider-Man, Venom, and Spawn. Harriet Everin, another author of The Summoning and writer of the character Aster Callahan and co-writer of the character Mikhail Orlov, fell in love with writing after a seventh grade writing assignment. Harriet says that readers will love the uniqueness and style of five different authors working on the same story, as well as the various characters and elements. Harriet was asked to be a co-author of The Summoning by Dr. Stuart Knott after a conversation they both had about the concept, and Harriet is also working on a collaboration project with another author of The Summoning, Chantel Brunton. She's also working on a standalone novel and a poetry book. She also loves genealogy research, scrapbooking, amateur photography, watching movies, listening to music, and going on brewery and winery tours. Girl, let me know. I will go out to Iowa and join you. <laughs> Maybe if I have vacation time. Harriet is a pen name that she has had since the seventh grade, and despite being a horror author, she's never read any big horror authors until late 2021. She could eat Indian food three times a day, every day, no problem. She absolutely loves Indian food. And she's an avid sports fan. She is a Kansas City Chiefs and Atlanta Braves fan. She hates foods that are put together like tacos and lasagna, but could eat their individual ingredients, no problem. Jessica Huntley, writer of the character Rhiannon Hughes, was inspired to start writing at just five years old, by age 11, she had written a full-length novel about a traveling pack of dogs, and by age 18, she had written 10 full-length novels with aspirations of being a published author one day. She was given some harsh advice by a fellow writer who told her that she needed more life experience and was too young. So, she joined the army, she traveled, she broke hearts, she got her heart broken, she got married, she had a baby... And then lockdown happened. And during lockdown, she found herself stuck at home, wondering, feeling lost as to who she was and what she wanted to do with life. So she took a novel writing course on a whim and got through that. And within the following six months, she wrote her debut 
debut novel and self-published it all by herself. A year after that, she has written almost five novels and found her passion in life. Her inspiration for the summoning came from the plot that Dr. Stuart Knott had given her, and she created and wrote the character of Rhiannon Hughes all by herself with a few guidelines from Dr. Knott, and the character Rhiannon Hughes was partly inspired by Jessica's own upbringing as she is Welsh, and her short story in The Summoning, The Devil's Graveyard, was inspired by a real story, well, something that she used to actually tell her friends. Her and her friends would tell everybody the story that they may or may not have made up, but that's exactly what that short story was based off of, and I thought that was the coolest thing. Jessica has written her own series and has a series of books out, and she's working on the third book in her Myself series, which I'll also be reviewing in the future, so stay tuned for that. In regards to the summoning, Jessica says it's definitely a horror novel. Um, it's not meant for light reading at all. Uh, it's It has all the elements a horror novel should. It's shocking, and it draws you in, and this is a story for those who like dark, sinister, and shocking books. Jessica is also a fitness fanatic. She has a prior career as a personal trainer, and she likes to start her day with 30 to 40 minutes of exercise. I wish I had that kind of discipline. But she also loves reading up to eight books a month, Netflix, and a good glass of wine. Some fun facts about Jessica. She loves crisps dipped in yogurt. And despite being a horror author, she's the biggest wimp when it comes to watching horror movies. Also, she's a terrible haunted house companion. One time, she was at a haunted corn maze with her sister and ended up using her sister as a shield from the zombies. But she loves being scared. <laughs> Chantel Brunton is a Canadian author who was inspired to start writing at a very early age. She had a lot of imaginary friends when she was growing up, and she feared that she would forget the conversations they had and what they said, so this prompted her to start writing them down. She also has a work in progress that is the backstory for her villain, Twenty, a character from her debut novel, Tortured Innocence. Chantel wants readers of The Summoning to know that she doesn't want readers to judge her short story, It's All in Your Head, too harshly because Mikael is an evil character and stole her story. Yes, she is holding a grudge against a fictional character. Chantel's hobbies outside of writing include her snakes, collecting ball-jointed dolls, sewing, photography, drawing, and painting. She also has a collection of shed antlers. She loves tarot cards. You need to talk to J.B. Kane. And she can speak Russian. Alice Stone, author of the prologue chapter of The Summoning, is a queer MA student studying creative writing. Alice is from the UK and developed her talent for writing at Edge Hill University and is currently working on her debut novel. Well, that is all for today's episode. I want to say that I would highly recommend The Summoning for anyone that likes shocking, dark, sinister, I mean, really gets into your head kind of horror stories. And thank you so much to all five of these incredible authors. They brought together an absolutely exhilarating story. I would highly recommend it. I will give all of the links to the author's Instagrams in the description below. I will also link the book in the description below. I believe you can get it on Amazon. There's an Amazon link. I'll put it in there. And thank you for watching, guys. Thank you for showing your support for these amazing authors and another incredible book. Cheers.